What's that? Oh, look at this. What's up, guys? Back with another vlog of my bulking. Uh, it is 6 a.m. in the morning, Wednesday morning, actually, March 8th. Yeah, March 8th. Um, getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, today is leg day. Haven't done a regular vlog in a while. You know, the last two were about uh, wearing the chucks. So, and today is leg day, so I will be wearing those chucks. So, you haven't watched my um, two different videos on wearing chucks. Um, check it out. So, check it out. Ordered some stuff from bodybuilding.com. Let's get this out of the way. I had payway last night, so. BCAAs, this is the Art Ergo BCAAs. This flavor is really good. It's black uh, berry lemonade. That, that's really good. Um, I've got some glutamine. Alright, uh, glutamine helps with soreness, helps with recover. Uh, pretty good stuff. I have, uh, usually, I'll have uh, 10 grams of uh, BCAAs and then uh, 10 grams of glutamine while I work out, sipping that. And then I got the pre-workout and inter interesting flavor, appleberry. Um, I'll probably do a review on this. So they had a deal, bodybuilding.com. I'm not sure they still have it. They may, depending on when, when, when you guys watch this video. You buy their pre-workout, you got the BCA free. Now I've had this, this is one of my, I have this or the Muscle Farm uh, BCAs. Those are my two that I usually have. So that's why I decided to do that. And then, our good friends at Beast Nutrition. Uh, sent me some free samples. And uh, we have pre-workout, Beast Mode Black. Yeah, I have uh, Beast Punch. And then I have Blue Raspberry. And they sent me some uh, Looks like some fat burning uh, pills, which really don't need right now. Um, oh, what is that? Oh, look at this. It's like uh, bodybuilding.com sent me a free sample of Nitrotech Crunch protein bar. Pretty cool. These are fairly new. Um, ooh, gluten free too. Nice. I haven't had any bars while really bulking just because, um, one, most of them are not gluten free. Anyways, one that tastes good, anyways. Uh, let's look at this. I'll probably review on this. So, not bad. You have uh, 24 carbs, 5 grams of fiber, 22 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fat for 240 calories. So, not bad. And gluten free. That's pretty cool. So I'll definitely gonna do a review and, and try this. Uh, yesterday was, I think yesterday or Monday was uh, National Pancake Day. I missed out, but I got some gluten free pancake mix. I'm gonna try some of this uh, probably this weekend. My, my go to breakfast right now is uh, oatmeal, two packets of oatmeal. It's sugar free instant uh, apple cinnamon. And a scoop of whey. So you have my carb. I have my carbs, my and my uh, protein all in one, and then I'll have some like a peanut butter or some almonds with that. Um, and found this at Sprouts, gluten free, gluten free uh, tortilla, tortilla. So um, this does me with. Let's just see here. It says tortilla blend, modified food starch. I have no idea what food starch is. Rice flour, potato extract. Tapioca starch, uh, dextrose, soybean flour, potato starch, whole eggs, salt, egg whites, water, vegetable shortening. So, I have no idea what food starch is. Um, obviously, as far as tortillas goes, I have corn too. Um, and this is, yeah, this is just corn and they have some, uh, basically, uh, stuff preservatives and stuff like that to hold uh tea together so 
Corn is exactly the best nutritional carb for me. Um, so I thought I'd try these. Now these aren't exactly nutritional either. Uh, the most nutritional, you have 24 carbs, 2 grams of fiber only, 2 grams of protein only, 4 grams of fat, kind of high in fat. Um, just a different taste. Try it out. Uh, same thing with the pancakes. You know, and this is uh, Birch Bender's pancake mix. So, gluten free. All right, guys. So, um, so I have a few reviews coming out. Uh, you guys already seen me do the Beast uh, review on this. Uh, and I think it's this flavor. Is it Beast Punch? Yeah. Haven't had the uh, blue raspberry. So, thinking I'm going to have this now. All right, so... <clears throat> Let's try this blue raspberry be smoked black. And it says suggested use 12 ounces, 15 to 20 minutes prior to workout. Do not exceed one packet per 24 hour period. This has a pretty good amount of caffeine, if I'm not mistaken. It has like 350. Uh, it doesn't say. I'm pretty sure it's 300, 350. So, a lot to. Uh, have to check on that one, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've done a full review on the Beast Mode Punch. Oh, here he goes. Caffeine. 400 milligrams. Sorry. Pretty good amount of caffeine. Let me this camera over. Quick. And if you guys didn't watch my uh, last video uh, about the Chucks, part two, I got a brand new camera. Panasonic G7, loving it so far. It's better than recording on my phone, and I did have another camera that only recorded in HD. However, the screen didn't flip around, so vlogging and recording myself was kind of a hassle. All right, so for some reason, guys, with with the Beast mode black. Not that I have any experience with the regular um, regular Beast pre-workout, but this is the Beast Mode Black. Um, it tends to clump up pretty bad. You can see there. I don't know if you can tell. So, um, I would definitely recommend using a uh, shaker bottle instead of stirring it. And, um, you know, when I do reviews on this stuff on pre-workout and on the like BCAAs, uh, I tend to like, well, no, it's actually just pre-workouts. I tend to uh, stir it just to see the effect to see if uh, you will need a blender bottle or if I recommend using a blender bottle, you know? So I have just some pre-workout stuck in here. So quick, if you guys don't follow me on my uh, social media stuff, quick update on my weight after oh man this is all sticky after um, where we at week what, week 9 week 10 hold on a second let's see here in week 10 I am up uh, 8.4 pounds so 8.5 pounds after 10 weeks so ideally let me shake this up Ideally, after, uh, you know, I don't want to gain more than half a pound to a pound a week, uh, especially on lean bulk. And um, I posted a before and after picture. I'll probably throw it up in this video. Uh, of when I was uh, cutting last year. Uh, and I believe that photo I posted on Instagram yesterday I was 158, 160 pounds. So it's about almost a 20 pound difference. And, uh, Man, you can really tell the mass I put on, you know, 20 pounds, that's a lot. And uh, it just makes me look in that picture when I was cutting really skinny. Um, which I was. Okay, it's a little, so it's a little sour, 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Um, so if you, I'll tell you right now, if you like Sour Patch Kids, I know that you guys like them. And you like the blue ones, you guys are gonna like this. This it's similar to that taste. All right. So. I think it's better than the, um, well, this is the punch flavor in. You can see here, I didn't add 12 ounces of water. Probably add about eight, maybe. I think there's a measuring thing on here, isn't there? Oh, so I added about eight ounces. So if it's too sour, then probably add more water. Just like it's too sweet. So, uh, what was I talking about? Okay, weight. So weight, 178. Um, and like I said, no more than a half a pound to a pound a week. So... It's pretty good. So I mean, the minimum I should be at would be gaining uh, five pounds, because after ten weeks, or yeah, after nine weeks, is it nine or eight, ten? I don't know. Uh, it would be four and a half to five pounds max. I obviously would be nine to ten pounds. So I'm sort of right, a little more on the heavier side, but um, of of that goal. So it's pre it's going well, guys. Um, like I said, it's March eighth. So I have let's see, uh, one two. Still, you know, three and a half weeks to go in this month. Um, so I should be around, uh, yeah, I should be in the low 180s. And then, um, I ain't gonna lie, it's getting tough and tougher. Uh, putting down the calories. Um, and I have a feeling, <laughs> I've been, I eat out maybe probably five to six times a, uh, a week. And, uh, you know, when you eat out, you have the higher sodium. So I feel if I stop eating out, uh, I would drop some water weight. And um, it's just, you know, it's just for, for me, you know, it's not that I'm lazy at this point. It's just one, my schedule's been crazy this year. Two, the uh, convenience and the flexibility I'm allowed to have a lot more calories now compared to when I was cutting, and um, a lot more tuned in and calculated with the macros compared to now, you know. Um, it is more, you know, I do look at nutritional info when I order stuff, and uh, stuff I don't know about, I can kind of figure out in my head, because I've been doing this, you know, for, um, you know, over four years now, so. Um, it, it is more, um, eyeballing and, and sort of estimating my calorie intake and you know it's working because you know obviously I haven't gained 20 pounds in two and a half months uh, or two you know over two months uh, I've gained what I said at what my goal was and that's you know half a pound to a pound a week so anyways guys I am going to finish this and then I go do legs. Today's my heavy day. Oh, another thing too is I only have, uh, what, two and a half weeks left of the pool program. And then after that, um, I'll get into it later, what I'm going to do after that. Um, strength is going up, which is a good thing. My bench now, um, I started out maybe doing like 220 for three to five reps. And then, uh last or actually it was this week so Sunday I did my upper power day uh, bench I attempted 260 for three reps only got two all right now I know I could get three all right I just had uh, uh, a technical glitch you could say and then my third rep I brought the bar down too low on my chest uh, along with uh, for some reason my wrist was slipping and uh, I got about three quarters away and kind of you know grind it out so anyways um, that's gone up uh, squats have gone up uh, it's hard to measure deadlifts because um, deadlifts deadlifts and squats so deadlifts I haven't done consistently throughout my lifting you could say uh, career and um, so it's hard to measure progress with that I mean the most I ever deadlift I think it was like three 65 I'm gonna say so I'm doing now for reps I'm doing uh, you know three to five reps at it's like 320 I want to say so it's it's hard to gauge I mean obviously I didn't start at that when I started the pool program so that's progressed into that now 
and then uh, squats, changing my stance. So it's, it's, you know, again, the weight is going up. It's just changing my stance, hitting that depth I need to hit. Um, it's hard to say what my max squat is, you know. Um, I tend to, I mean, I haven't maxed out on any of my lifts and I don't know, like, had to be like, has to be like over the year, I want to say. So, anyways, uh, I just know that I'm getting stronger. And obviously with uh, strength usually that helps you build size as well, which is my goal obviously this year. So so far you guys say the pool program is working pretty good. Shout out to Brandon Campbell. Brandon Campbell Fitness, he's the one that developed it and he's the one I got it from. So anyways guys, I am going to finish my pre-workout, my beast. Um, as far as taste goes, I didn't give it a rating. Uh, rating uh, one through scale one to ten, ten being the ultimate best, you know, pre-workout. I'm gonna go off the taste. Um, I give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. Now I'm. A, I kind of like. The, I like the sour stuff, so a little change of pace from, um, you know, the the uh, punch one they have, and then um, the other pre-workouts I take. I you know I like Jay Cutler Legend. I have um, Muscle Farmer Salt. And one, yeah, the Vortex, uh, one MR, the BPI. So, a um, little change of pace. So, uh, maybe that's why my rating is high. But if you don't like sour stuff, you're probably not going to like this. So, anyways, guys, I'll check back with you guys later. Hope everyone's having a good day. Peace.